anyone tells you this is easy, they're crazy. <laughs> Good morning. It's hard to believe that 34 years ago, I was here at Highland Park High School beginning my senior year. To say that I am honored and humbled to be standing here today after 25 years as a teacher and athletic trainer is an understatement. I am filled with emotion because I bleed blue and gold, and I always will. Highland Park has given me so many gifts and so many great memories. From riding around the park cities with Richard Bohack to catch skippers and smokers. <laughs> serving as the judge in mock trials, taping ankles of student athletes, announcing names at graduation, and being a teacher in the classroom. Believe it or not, I have even spent several Friday and Saturday nights on this very roof to catch a burglar who had been breaking into the school. <laughs> Having had the opportunity to wear all of those hats has been challenging, but so very rewarding. You may find yourself wearing various hats this upcoming school year that you could have never imagined. My advice to you, enjoy them. Enjoy the challenges. Know that every time you step up to one of those challenges, you are stretching as a person and as an educator. Just like you have and will be, I have been touched by so many outstanding leaders. They have all helped me to grow personally and professionally. Do you have someone in your life who has taught you that it's okay to fail and that giving up is not an option? My constant encourager and inspiration to never give up was Highland Park middle school teacher and coach, Kellis White. He taught determination, persistence, and the ability to believe in oneself. That is what many of you give to your students every day, just like Coach White did for me. It is important that students realize that it's okay to fail and that life will go on. What about the person who clearly understands the importance of building relationships first, making room for great things to follow? The kindest and most compassionate person I have ever known is Bo Snowden. Although he had to endure conversations about my Texas A&M Aggies and I, his Auburn Tigers, his guidance and leadership was a cornerstone for this school district and he is truly missed. Now, although you may not, excuse me, you may or may not have known Coach Snowden, you do and will get to enjoy the bricks he laid before you so that you can do great things too. How about the person who exemplifies teamwork, the person that you know things would not be what they are without their help? One of my teammates is Highland Park High School teacher, J.E. Masters. <clears throat> Because of his insight in creating a real courtroom setting, the mock trials have become a crowning achievement for students every semester. He plays the role of architect so that mock trial setting seems real and because of that, so does the experience. He truly is a brilliant educator and a great contributor to so many in the building. I am sure many of you relate to having the skills of others help contribute to your daily success. We are truly able to accomplish so many great things when working together towards a common vision. Now you probably also have the person or persons who have helped you develop a specific skill set along with your professional philosophy. <clears throat> For me, I had to develop the skills and attitudes needed to be a successful athletic trainer. And to help me do that was Doug Gibbons, Highland Park Independent School District athletic trainer of 38 years. He has taught me patience, compassion, and most importantly, how to deal with people. Whatever my success has been in the classroom and as an athletic trainer, it is because of the life lessons learned from this selfless man. I think compassion is something all teachers must embody, and I'm sure we can agree that patience is a must have. Lastly, think about the person who taught you to enjoy a good challenge. Who has pushed you to be much more than you were? Who is your mentor? My inspiration for 25 years now is Linda Raya. Linda's style and grace in the classroom has always been a model that I envy. 
Every day I try to exhibit that style in my classroom. And though I will never perfect it, it continues to inspire me to try to achieve it. My life wouldn't be the same without her. Specifically, she inspired me to do musical theater and children's theater for over 20 years. And she is the reason I have the passion for theater that I do. That passion began back in 1975 when I was a freshman in her speech and theater classes. I was given an assignment to do a monologue from the play David and Lisa. In this particular scene, I played a deeply disturbed and emotionally challenged young man. And I'm standing next to my bed packing a suitcase and talking to a room full of imaginary people. At the end of the monologue, Linda required her students to give feedback on how I had done. <laughs> I remember one of my classmates made the comment that talking to imaginary people seemed to come naturally for me. <laughs> I have never been sure if that was a compliment or not. I will forever be grateful to Linda for showing us all the power of constructive peer feedback. Linda challenged me, and it is because of those challenges that my love of theater continues today. Everyone here brings a unique, a unique set of talents to our district. There are many of you here today who are entering the teaching field for the very first time. Some of you might already have professional experience, and I encourage you to hold on to the tools that made you successful in your previous career. Take sales, for example. I started off as a salesman in my father's furniture business. That is where I learned about pioneering. For those of you who don't know, pioneering is walking into a store for the first time to make a sale, or at least try to generate interest in your product. I believe that we as teachers do that every day in the classroom. We try to sell our product to students every day. And as all of you know, that can be difficult. Attempting to reach all students on a daily basis can be challenging, but so very satisfying. I also believe you have to sell yourself as a teacher to your students. And while not everyone will agree, students need to see their teacher as a human being with compassion and feeling. Highland Park is an outstanding place to teach, as all of you new teachers will discover. You, you will see all the traditions that are at the very heart of this district and community, from the bagpipes to the kilts, enter to learn, go forth to serve, athletics and good sportsmanship, the drum dance, the blanket award, academics, parents volunteering in the cafeterias, Highland Park Middle School and McCullough Intermediate School, Higher, Armstrong, Bradfield, and University Park. These are all traditions that draw people on, like you and me to the school district. These are traditions that inspired us 50 years ago, and they continue to inspire us today. These traditions remind us to be at our best for our students every day, and they are why I have always loved the blue and gold. I am proud to be a Scot, and I am proud to call this place my home for 52 years. I wish all of you an outstanding school year, and I thank you very much. <laughs>